Do y'all ever watch those like horror shorts on um, YouTube? Okay, it's called Callie's Last Review. This was like when I started talking about like how social media is fake and like people will do anything for like sponsorships and like all that stuff. And somebody had sent me this and I saved it, but I didn't watch it. I just saved it. I hope nothing jumps out at me though. Like I don't mind the little scare, like, you know, so-called scary things, but I just don't, I hate jump scares. Let's see what this is hitting for. Hey guys, it's me, Callie with the K and a Y, your favorite beauty blogger. Me? I'm just kidding. Your favorites might have more experience or subscribers or sponsorships or partnerships, maybe even a real ship. I don't know. I don't have a ship. I can't compete with that. All I can do is try to give you real, truthful, and honest reviews of products that I think are going to change your life. Today's video is my first ever sponsored review of this exclusive new at-home chemical peel kit from Sue Skincare Essentials. That's right, I'm going to be giving myself a chemical peel at home. That so they reached the out to me, they're this sweetie. cool new startup. They asked if I would do a tutorial and review of this product, which I was super excited about because I don't have that many subscribers yet. I would Which never I'm kind of, do I'm kind of like one of the first a chemical peel at home to even try what? this product. I think I got kind of like a little like a misprint, just no big deal, but like, like her face is a little bit like, you know. Oh my god, I completely forgot to say I don't have any foundation on. It's a mess. So if we just take a little look, see here, hyper rosacea on my cheeks, fine lines on my eye area whenever I make an expression. My forehead is another story. I mean, take a look at this. It would be amazing. She's gonna break out if more. Peel like, could just get gonna, rid of there's no everything. way she leaves this looking better. I can't wait to start <laughs> sharing this with you. I love you guys. Hey guys, it is application day. I am super excited to get going with this. Again, Why does it feel like we're really watching like a YouTube foundation. video from like but obviously can't 2010? Really on over foundation, so I need to be. Oh, natural. <laughs> There's no instructions on the product, but I've been emailing with Sue myself with a really sweet rep. They've given me everything I need to know. Let's get going. Step number one, make sure that you have gloves on. You don't want your hands to peel. Why are you doing a chemical peel from some random hand, brand? In which case, like, I've been talking to a I rep. Can't help you. You've been talking to a robot. We're going to take our product. Ooh, very powerful chemicals in there. I don't have quite the formula for you yet. I just know it's powerful. <laughs> and because that's what you want, because that's what will work. Then we're going to take this cute little fan brush, dip that in here. Be careful there's not like excess drips. That, that is literally liquid, like, oh my God. Somebody put acid in a freaking thing and sent it to her. Okay, Woo. give it a few minutes to wait. <laughs> Okay, so it's only been about um, a minute and a half. I feel like my face is getting really tight and I see there's actually quite a bit of redness. So I think we're, I'm, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna neutralize now. So that is what um, the neutralizing cream is for. I should have done this a little bit earlier actually. Oop. Rub that all Oh my gosh, you, you do not rub peel. like that after, oh, gosh, oh my god. Tricky little bottle Nothing here. Nothing even came out. Yeah, actually, it's just gonna okay. use it like this. It feels so nice. It's like a ketchup bottle. <laughs> when you pat the sides of ketchup bottles, like a little baby butt comes out a little better, but that's almost not even no. happening here. I'm gonna go put some more of this on and then I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so quick change of plans. I'm actually gonna run out and get some coconut oil because the rep. You are not supposed to go in the sun after. Pretty a similar in. Um, like formula to what the neutralizing agent is. I actually ran out of. This is really well done though, because I feel like I'm watching her actual YouTube and YouTube story. I forgot for a second that we were watching a movie, like. <laughs> the neutralizing agent. I don't know if that's just because maybe I'm like, maybe just like a baby. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of need some more of that. Cause it's just and because it's a change. movie, I know it's about to go left. To like, I just bit. don't know where it's gonna, like. But I think that's kind of normal. So I'm gonna go grab some of that and I will 
let you guys know how things are later. Okay, bye. Oh, she got a chin on um, her. One other thing. Oh, I'm got sorry, Scooby. One other thing I did want to say is you are not supposed to go out in the sun with this. <laughs> I, I just said that. Why would you? Right now. But I think it should be fine because it's just a short little walk. No, it would not, not be fine. Walking fast. It's absolutely not going to be fine. It should be fine because I'm going to be neutralizing more, some extra neutralization. I think it should be okay. So, but I just wanted to tell you because I'm always trying to be honest with these things. All right, I'll check in with you guys later when there's some progress. Hey guys, so it's actually only about like 10 hours later. There's obviously been some like really incredible progress. Hey guys, <laughs> your face is coming off. Did she say incredible progress? No. So what's happening right up. now is a lot of that bad stuff is starting to come to the surface. Like. Like what that stuff? That's really not how chemical pills that work. There's actually stuff that was like hiding underneath my skin. Oh my god, my bangs look crazy. I'm sorry. This section over here, on, like honestly, I think that's just like pores that I didn't even know were clogged. Yikes. The main thing is just like keeping it clean and like making sure you're not picking at stuff. Oh, oops. That's um, should have should have cleaned that up before. I just have like a little bag of things and keeping it here. I will check in with you guys later. This is really no. I'm sorry. This is really hey how. Inf oh. I did not even mean to like post it. I didn't know what was. I just was posing it to talk. Now wait, hold on. What I what I was gonna say doesn't even matter. Uh, I definitely don't want to sugarcoat things. Things are definitely feeling a little tender today. Okay. Everything. Is no, no, a little tender. This is how influencers be like, I remember there was this lip plumper that was out and everybody was using it and they looked like it was burning their lips so bad. Everybody's like, no, it's so great. It's so amazing. And I bought it and I used it and it literally felt like if I was eating a bunch of jalapenos and then rubbing lemons on my mouth, like it, it burned so bad and it didn't even plump my lips. It just made, it just hurt. And they do this for a, ch like, oh my gosh, for a sponsor. How much are they paying you? How, like, she gotta be, the, the, for this, she has to be getting so much money, she gotta be a big influencer. I need, like, there's no way. It's, like, definitely activated. It's for sure crustified, as we said. But um, I know that it's at the point where the new skin is, like, starting to form underneath. Oh, sorry. You need a Sometimes hospital. That, like, loosens things up a little bit. This is a movie. I'm trying not to that take one. this too serious. <laughs> just want to make sure that you're not actually, like, just sitting there like peeling it going a little stir crazy it's kind of a nice weekend but like this is all gonna be worth it you have no face oh what did i get what oh my god oh my god probably the most disappointing update that i could even have imagined the giant pink band-aids are killing me <laughs> no longer wants to do this sponsorship with me they you know, basically want to call the whole thing off. Their email addresses are no longer um, functional. No. Now I can't get in touch with them. I feel like they, they quit on me, you know? They're trying to blame me, but maybe no. I have like kind of sensitive skin. I think that I just have a more intense healing process than, than we were expecting. <sighs> I'm sorry. Trying not to, let my to not even get, get now they don't even want to work with you so you're not getting paid so now you're burned up you have no face and no money to give up i never give up i stay positive even when when things seem tough i i move forward and i keep doing it abandoning the project is the worst thing that you can do sue skincare made a mistake i think they made a big mistake you I think do this for you for my followers. You guys are my everything. I'm going to finish this video without them and finish this peel. Girl, finish the peel. Your face is gone. They're going to regret not choosing me to be the sponsored face of Sue Skincare's Brilliant Reveal Chemical Peel. What is happening? What is happening? She's putting her face on. She's putting pieces. Of 
I chose to put this on. I chose to put it on. I chose to put it on. I can't even blame any of y'all. But whoever sent it to me originally, count your days. If you're in here, count your days. I don't, like, Kelly's channel had a total subscriber count of eight. She did this for eight people. I mean, any type of subscriber, anybody who's watching you is amazing, you know? Like, I got a handful of people in here right now, for real. But it's just like, you fried your face off for eight view. I thought she was, I thought she was a Kardashian. No email correspondence with anyone from Sue's skincare was found on Kaylee's computer. No one has been able to find a website, contact, or any other verification that the company exists. The only recent emails in Kaylee's inbox were online order confirmations for do DIY product packaging materials. So she made this herself. She made it. And then to her eight followers put this. Oh my gosh. <music> Kelly's last review. Yeah, it was. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go to Aunt Mabel. Just the little thumbnails here. I'm already scared. The smile. Y'all know how I feel about that smile. I know how I feel about the smile. Wait, wait, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, I'm pressing play, I'm pressing play. Rot. Let me move the mic. Turn up, turn her mic off. Turn up, that's it. That, why would it start with a scream? Y'all just pissed me off. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <sighs> Why are you being weird? Jada. Girl, come up here. You want me to call you? Don't go up there. Don't go up there. Don't go up there. Faye, didn't you hear me calling you? No, I was busy. Busy doing what? Making breakfast. Auntie Mabel's in my closet again. What? Yes. <laughs> Get her out of there, please. Why do I have to do it? Because you're my big sister. You're not gonna casually tell me Auntie Mabel's in the closet. Like, what? Auntie Mabel? Yes? Are you okay? Of course. I'm fixing to make some oxtails. You want to get oh, some we got the same necklace on. Greens and some good old fashioned cornbread. I'm gonna fix it up real right. You gonna do that from the closet? I want you to go to the kitchen. Girl, why are you facing me? I'm gonna take you to bed so you can rest, okay? Mm hmm Okay. Okay, come with me. Y'all about to piss me off. Y'all about to piss me off. Are those her braids next to her? Like, what the... Auntie Mabel's in my closet again. Like, again? Right. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. She's, no way she's in the closet again. No way she's in the closet again. Yeah. I need to show you something about these oxtails I'm finna make. Come here. Don't, no. Uh, um, okay. Okay. Mm. Come closer. Who told me to put this on? Who told me to put this on? <laughs> Come here, girl. 
I want everybody to know my secret. Girl, it's just us. What you talking about? Come down here. Oh, you come. Get oh. Mm. What's happening? What's happening? Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. Oh, all right, we're just gonna go straight to just, just don't piss me off. Oh my God. I <laughs> Your nails look good though. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Whose funeral are we at? Oh. Ooh, girl. I hope you like that chicken they just cooked up. Nope. Auntie Mabel. And it's like, it's not even as scary. It's just this, um, like, the army is... I knew you weren't dead. What? just wanted to see how you're doing. You all right? I don't know. I need sleep. How are you doing? Food's gone, so there's that. That's good. Who are Man, you? Fried chicken and black funeral's gotta be so good. <laughs> Maybe we wouldn't have had it any other way. That's how mom's was. Where's her sister? Or, yeah, that was her sister, right? You know you're gonna be all right, right? I hope so. It was just the way she left that was so disturbing. Are we acting she like she died a regular death? Forgot how to write, how to move, how to walk, how to live. Sometimes God has his own plans. What's about to happen? Who's singing? I know I already mentioned it in the eulogy, but I just want to say thanks again. So happy she had someone like you taking care of her in her last days. You got the bad thing in you too, bro. What's happening myself? right now? Sure. What? Now I can't. What? Most of the time for us all right now, but she's got it the worst. Plus, now I know the separate thing runs in the family. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be sure to check on her when I come to work on the house tomorrow. I'm so confused, y'all. The fire alarm is not even in the wall. Like, what's beeping? Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. I'm 
Auntie Mabel. I'm so happy to see you. Girl, she's dead. Hey, that stupid face. It's like, it's not even scary, but it's like that face is gonna be in my head later in my nightmares. Like when I'm looking in like the dark, I don't like. What are you doing up there? You just trying to break the generational curse of the smoke alarm beeping indefinitely? I don't think that's the smoke detector. Really? Yeah, I think it's the other one. I forgot what it's called. Hmm. You cooking? No. Like how is the smoke hey, detector beeping if it was before? not on? It wasn't even connected to anything. You ready to eat, girl? No, go to hell. Are you really here? No. Yeah, child. No. I knew it was you last night. In the closet, in the hallway. Nope. I knew I wasn't tripping. Nope. Yo, auntie gonna fix you up some red beans and rice, some cabbage. Little baby, what's your oxtails? Smothered chicken. And my good old cornbread. Oh, okay. No, I'm going to do it up real right. Mm-hmm. Yes, I am. Jada. Who are you talking to? Exactly. It's your mama, Steve. It's She's your right mama. here. Praise the Lord. Oh, my God. What? I like that gave me nothing. No, I have I have more questions than I, I I hate leaving with questions. I don't even know what Mama Agnes is about now. I don't even care. If Mama Agnes is anything like Auntie Mabel, they can all go to hell. Like what? Is there a part three? I, if there's a, I don't want to know. I don't I don't I don't want to know. There's a short horror film called Don't Look at Your Phone, and they have. The smile, like the movie smiles. Is here. I'm leaving. Babe. Does she look okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. I have well, people I mean, ask stupid questions. Have a safe trip. Remember, we're gonna be totally off-grid. You're gonna be able to survive without me for two weeks? <laughs> I'll try. You think Love she, you. she... Love you too. metaphor for us like how much we be on our phones and stuff like whatever
Let it charge. <laughs> shower you haven't eaten anything like what is going on look at her hair <laughs> oh it smells bad in there two weeks sitting in the same spot but her body is on fire actually happening to all of us most people in the world are literally obsessed with their phones all right good night guys <laughs>